Corley, thank you. Now to Northwest Jacksonville, where a SWAT officer survived after being shot multiple times. He was involved in an operation the sheriff describes as one of the most dangerous for law enforcement, serving a warrant. The scene was on Rutledge Pearson Drive near Rebald High School. News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris is joining us live. Janice, the sheriff said that it was the bulletproof vest that may have saved this officer. Tom, you're absolutely correct. That's exactly what the sheriff said. He said he also walked away, though. That SWAT officer that was shot also walked away with other trauma. But this is the closest we've ever been to this SWAT scene. And so I want to give you the chance to actually look at the home that was involved in this SWAT call-out incident involving the DEA. You see it there with all of the windows busted out. I've actually seen video from people that live in this neighborhood showing a large SWAT vehicle ramming into the front of that home when that incident happened. Tonight, the man is recovering, that SWAT officer, but this investigation is not over. Police lights and tapes around this neighborhood that runs along the Rebalt River after a SWAT officer was shot while helping with a high-risk search warrant. Jacksonville Sheriff Mike Williams says this morning police used a loudspeaker to identify themselves to the man and woman inside a home and explain why they were there. But at least one of the two people inside still shot at a SWAT officer multiple times. That officer was outside of the house. He survived the shooting thanks to his bulletproof vest. So the vest saved his life today, no doubt about it. So he has, he's uh, received some minor injuries and obviously there's a significant amount of trauma that occurs even when you do get shot in the vest. According to JSO, this house on Ken Knight Drive and Rutledge Pearson Road was a part of an ongoing DEA and narcotics investigation. News for Jack's crime and safety expert Ken Jefferson, who's a retired police officer, says that this is an investigation that could involve multiple people and locations. The fact that the DEA was there lets, let us know that it's a federal case that they're building. So it's not just your regular street crimes. Uh, with drugs. Whenever the DEA is involved, it's a big case. It's a federal case. So uh, there could be other things that's linked to it, other people that's linked to it. Though the two people are detained, their names have not been released. Williams says there could be official arrest soon. And that officer that is recovering has worked with JSO for 19 years. His name will probably be released tomorrow. As far as the man and the woman involved in this incident, they could possibly face attempted murder of a police officer. Reporting live off Ken Knight Drive, Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station.